Hey guys, Jodie here, Decorous Vintage Designs and welcome back to another furniture painting tutorial. Today I am going to be showing you how to achieve this very textured bohemian look, so stay tuned for that. Alright, so to get started with, I mix some Dixabel Limeade with Sea Spray, which is a texture additive, and I stippled it on with a premium chip brush. So this is just to get texture, and also you can see that I'm covering up an old finish, and Sea Spray is great for this because it dries rock solid and gives really good coverage. Just make sure that when you use Sea Spray or you stipple, or both, like I am here now, then make sure that you use a cheap brush or an old brush and one that you don't love so much because it kind of will knacker your brushes a little bit well not a little bit a lot um, it's really harsh on those bristles so just make sure that you don't use a good brush for this it's also a good idea when stippling to change the direction of your brush you know so just kind of stipple on in different directions um, and this will help create different textures and we'll get a more natural rustic finish also as always guys everything I use today is listed below so if you get a little bit lost don't worry it's all down there in the description below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button if you enjoy this video all right, so my sea spray is totally dry now. You can kind of see on the right there the kind of look that I'm going to be going for and the colors I'm using are cobalt, which is a deep blue, peacock, which is a medium blue, and the gulf, which is a light turquoisey blue. I have a brush for each color so as not to kind of contaminate the colors. And generally I am using the oval medium style brushes. So synthetic brushes with a, an oval shape to them. Using swirly movements, I am adding the cobalt mostly all around those edges there, not being too perfect with it. I've also sprayed a tiny little bit of water just to help get that paint moving. And I'm just kind of outlining where I want my cobalt to be at this point. I'm also cool if some of the limeade peeks through because this is going to be a textured rustic look anyway. So as with most of my finishes, it's going to be imperfectly perfect. I have then with a separate brush now gone in with my peacock and I'm just kind of placing that where I want it as well, somewhere just around the um, inner edge of the cobalt and then I've applied some of the gulf there right in the middle so that's going to be my highlighter colour. So I've spritzed a little bit of water and then I have the Best Dang brush, which I'm going to call my neutral brush or my blending brush. So this has no paint on it at all and it's a natural bristled brush. So it's great for texture. It's got some, it's got loads and loads of bris bristles on there. So um, yeah, so it's really, really good for blending as well and to achieve that kind of smoky blend that I'm going for here. I decided to come in and add a little bit of more limeade there in the middle just because I felt like it wasn't um, bright enough. So just have a play, you know, painting's all about playing and just seeing what works and having fun. When blending, don't use too much water because otherwise the it will just become totally sloshy and saturated, but also don't use too much paint, otherwise it will become really, really muddy. Just kind of build it up slowly, maybe like you would with your makeup, and yeah, and just take your time with it to make sure that you get the nice soft blend that you want, and just to make it easier on yourself. So while that's drying, I decided to paint the top in, in the navy. Um, I've already put the limeade and sea spray mixture on there, so it's still quite textured. And I'm just putting a very, very rough base of in the navy on there. So once my blend had dried, I went in there with Moonshine Metallics in Pacific, which is a lovely deep blue metallic. I saturated my furniture with quite a bit of water so that it wasn't too bold, that it would soften it a little bit. And then I, with my sponge, I went in there and just started to apply it. I just wanted to give this a really lovely kind of sapphire glow. Again, just take your time, build it up slowly, see how it feels. There's no rush here. 
um, you know, add more water if you're kind of scared that you don't want to change the look too much. Um, and then you can just build it up gradually. So yeah, just take your time. I then mixed some Plum Crazy with water, probably around a 50-50 solution, but I do not recommend putting chalk paint mixes in these misters because it broke it broke my mister st pretty much straight away. So I uh, sprayed that all over and then I just decided to tap with a sponge, but I wasn't loving it in the middle there, so I went in again with a little bit more limeade just to hide it. I loved it around the edges, I just wasn't loving it in the middle. And this is where I always say it's just paint, guys. If you don't don't love what you've done you can just go back in there and change it quite easily you know don't panic if there's ever something you don't like and don't be afraid just because it can always be fixed um, and then I just used a little bit of peacock just to soften those edges up and then yeah started to sand this piece I'm just using one of the Dixie Belle sanding sponges here and I just want some more of that limeade to poke through so all those colors that I've put on before now they will all start to peek through start off by putting on a tiny tiny little bit of pressure uh, and then build it up and that way then you will have more control with how far and how deep you want the sand in to go down okay and now here's the fun part so I have here the retro peacock transfer look at those gorgeous colors and this is the new Dixie Belle paint transfer so I had a little bit of trouble here because my workshop is really cold and I want to show you what happens whenever moisture gets into a transfer um, when, if it's cold or humid it means that the transfer will not adhere properly like you can see here so what I had to do was I had to take off the transfer and then I applied some gator hide to make sure the paint was totally dry and cured and then I went in again and applied the transfer after that and because this was going to be a rustic look anyway I didn't worry too much about some of it separating because then I went in and sanded the transfer way down because I wanted it to look old I wanted it to look like it had been part of the piece for a long 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 time and because peacocks have that kind of iridescent look I decided to use some of the lilac gilding wax and I just applied a little bit over the woodie bend here so this will just give me a really soft purple iridescent look and I also just applied some around the borders there as well just to make it glow a little bit and then for a little bit of shading I use some gold gemstone mousse again because peacocks kind of have this glowy look about them don't they so this is kind of what my thought process was here at this point I sanded back the top of the piece to let that limeade shine through as well again just to create that rustic look and I actually really love the contrast of the limeade with the darkness of the in the navy and I just love this kind of texture it's just so it's just so my style I feel and then to seal the piece I use Dixie Belle's satin clear coat again I usually use waxes but I went with a satin clear coat this time because I was thinking of you know peacocks and how they have that iridescent sheen to them so I wanted this to look nice and glowy I put two coats of this on and that made me feel confident that this piece was then totally protected And here's a finished look. Really hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial today. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. And as always, have a lovely day. Happy painting. Bye-bye.